Hi students, I am Prevent Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing an example for the UML state diagram. We are discussing the library management systems state diagram. So, my students, in the last lecture, we had discussed what is a state diagram. A state diagram is sometimes otherwise known as state chart diagram or state transition diagram or simply a state diagram. A state diagram shows the behavior of classes in response to the external stimuli. Specifically, a state diagram describes the behavior of a single object in response to a series of events in a system. Sometimes it is also known as Harrell state chart or state machine diagram. This UML diagram models the dynamic flow of control from state to state of a particular object within a system. So my dear students, now we are representing the different notations in a state diagram. First of all, we are discussing the state. The state represents the situations during the life of an object and we can easily illustrate a state by using a rectangle with a rounded corners. So simply a state can be represented by a rectangle with a rounded corner and inside that rectangle we can represent the state name. The second type of representation is state with an internal activity that is the rectangle has two compartments. The topmost compartment represents the state name and the second compartment or the bottom compartment rep represents the method or activity associated with that particular different state activity. So, my dear students, the next notation is the transition notation. A transition notation is represented by a solid arrow that represents the path between different states of an object. So, a state can have a transition that point back to itself or from a state to another state. So, it is represented by a solid arrow line. So, the next representation is the initial state or the starting point. A small filled circle followed by an arrow represents the initial object state. So every state diagram starts with a initial state. So this initial state is the first state available in a state diagram. So the next one is a synchronization. So as we mentioned in the previous lectures, a synchronization is a short heavy bar with two transitions entering to it represents a synchronization of a control. The first bar is often called a fork, where a single transition split into concurrent multiple transition. And the second bar is known as a join, where concurrent transitions are reduced back into a single transition. The combination of these fork and join is known as a synchronization. The next representation or notation in a state diagram is a final state or endpoint. An arrow pointing towards a filled circle nested inside another circle represents a final action state. So my dear students, these are the different notations available in a state transition diagram. Now we are moving to our example for the library management system. So when we come to the library management system, we are initializing or starting our first state. So as we mentioned, the first state represented by a dark or filled circle. And from that circle, an arrow is emerging. So this arrow is emerging to the second or the next state. So we are moving to another state known as idle state. So this idle state is a state where no activities is currently performing. From this idle state, we are moving to the new state. So from idle state, we are moving to a new state with a message or a process known as login. So by login into a system, we can move from idle activity into a new state activity or new state. So after the completion of different actions, we can move back into the idle state also. So this activity is known as log out activity. So this is represented by the messages or the different transitions. So the transitions are represented by arrows and the different transition processes are represented by the labels beside the arrows so the next state available is a calculate fine so that is if we are considering a college library a person can borrow a book by entering into the library by verifying the library uh, key or score with the librarian so the librarian will move to the idle state to the new state and that particular software kiosk or the librarian calculate the fine associated with that particular student if the student has or the member has fine he has to pay or remit the fine before returning the book so 
after the fine calculation he can move to the next state known as a returning book so the returning book is transiting from the calculate fine state with a message known as no fine or the member is paying that particular fine so after calculating fine the member can move to the next state known as return book by the transition of either paying the fine or without paying that particular fine so the next state available or the next transition is from returning book to the new state that is he is not taking any more book or else he can take a new book so the customer or the person will check for the availability of book so he is moving towards the availability of book here the transition is between new state to the availability of book and the transition message is member is requesting for a book so whether the member is requesting for a book that particular kiosk or the library and check for the availability of the book and the return message or the return transition is given back to the state that the books are not available or the books are available if the books are available then the person can move to the state known as validate member and if he is a valid member he can borrow that book so if the person is a invalid person or a invalid membership the process is ending with moving towards the idle state and if the person is a valid member he can be moved to the next state known as issue book state and finally he is moving to the idle state and from the idle state the final state is being moved so this is the different state representations or the states associated with a library management system so as we mentioned this state diagram represents the different actions or states associated with a particular process we are not defining different modules different activities we are just defining what are the steps or states associated with a particular process so my dear students this is how we are representing a state diagram for a library management system so my dear students hope you had understood this topic So dear students a state diagram shows the behavior of a class in response to the external stimuli and this state diagram is also known as state chart or state transition diagram or a hierarchical state chart or a state machine diagram so these are different names associated with state diagram so dear students hope you had understood this topic so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question our question is draw the uml state diagram for the hospital management system so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss another set of uml diagrams associated with unified modeling language so my dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best